Welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you how I make shampoo. The main function of shampoo is to clean the hair and scalp. Surfactants are the main ingredients in the shampoo formulation. The word surfactants means surface active agents. Surfactants are responsible for cleaning action by stirring up activity on the surface you are cleaning up. There are different types of shampoo. Daily use shampoo, conditioning, two-in-one, co-wash, clarifying, dry shampoo, shampoo bar, etc. Most of the complaints that I hear and also experienced is that most shampoos in the market are very drying and sometimes they have ingredients that are not safe like SLS or SLES. These ingredients have a small molecular structure and they can easily penetrate the skin. They may also contain elements that have been linked to cancer. One of the main advantages of making your own shampoo is that you know what is in it and you choose the right ingredients. All surfactants that I use are natural as they drive from plants or animal fat. Today, I will show you how I make a conditioning shampoo that is best for dry hair or curly hair. There are four phases in the process of making shampoo. Tant phase, I use extremely gentle and naturally dried surfactants. And the first ingredient is sodium cocal isotonate, which is commonly known as baby foam because it is an extremely gentle surfactant and it is made from coconut oil. The other ingredient is foaming silk. It's made from hydrolyzed pure silk fibers and it is perfect for mild cleansing. And cocoa made propyl betaine. It's mild, 100% coconut based surfactant. For the oil phase, I use coconut oil because it has cleansing properties. And I use BMTS 50. It is derived from the natural plant oil known as rapeseed oil. It offers excellent detangling and conditioning without the buildup. Steric acid. It helps to thicken the shampoo and makes it creamy. It comes from animal and vegetable fats and oils. For the water phase, I already mixed glycerin, distilled water, cetrimonium chloride, and cetrimonium chloride is a conditioning agent and mainly used to prevent static and buildup in hair. So I heat all these three phases separately. And then I mix them. And I use my blender to mix. And the last phase is cool down phase. When it is cool, I include preservative and scent. And the last thing is to check pH. Our hair and scalp pH level is between 4.5 and 5.5 and a good shampoo is supposed to be between pH 5 and 6 and my shampoo pH is perfect for hair and high pH shampoo will damage hair. This creamy shampoo has excellent luxurious foam and leave a very nice silky feeling on your hair and scalp. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, like, share and thank you all for your support. Bye!